You know what was sad though? I, I, I do believe I'm actually pretty good at Ratchet and Clank, but um, Up Your Arsenal Online was a very humbling experience because you would think a guy who made Ratchet and Clank and professionally, you know, does Ratchet and Clank professionally would be pretty good at the game, but our fans are way better at this game than I am. <laughs> well, they do have a lot more time to play this game than you ever did. Especially online. Oh my god, they're so much better at Ratchet and Clank online than I am. So, uh, this conveyor belt's confusing you like it did everybody. Uh huh. The reason it's here is because you have to retraverse this area, and that lets you do it a little faster. Oh, got it. Got it. Yeah, so you, you're, you don't actually have to do anything on this until you come backwards. So if you if you go the other way, I think. Well, the, I, there was a hell of this. I imagine oh. I used this levitator to get up. Yeah. Right. But if you miss it, that that lets you get back faster. Or if you like go for the platinum bolts or whatever. I probably shouldn't have done that. Oh. I totally should not have done that. Well, see, this is why the this is why the track the conveyor belt's down. Right. Because it just kind of sucks to make that that run back. Why did I break those boxes? Because Why did you punish me for breaking boxes? Uh, you know, I probably did do the box placement in this level, so that is directly my fault. Um, because I'm a junior designer at this point. <laughs> uh, also, I didn't design this segment. Maybe I could blame Mark. Uh, although I'm sure that wasn't good. I think there's a secret over on the left there. I've already failed once. Maybe. Well, just look down. Don't uh, don't jump down. Because I think there's like a nanotech there. There's one first person. No. Nope, I'm wrong. Just boxes. Boxes that I don't want to go get. That's... Hey, it's not the only thing about this game that's at odds with our purposes. Man, that, this is a hard... You don't know if you're jumping down to a safe zone. Or to death, yeah. Or to death. And of course there's no continue points. Continue points are for pussies, Tony. I Where don't know am I headed? You know this. Uh, uh, over there. there. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and if I remember correctly, there's a fight in here with crabs that made focus testers cry pretty much. No, this is the weird NPC who I never really understood. The two-headed one? Yeah, this guy is weird. He's probably one of the weirdest NPCs we got. Go ahead. Go ahead. Do me a favor. I don't know what this guy's story is. Just some random alien with a pipe and a monocle. They explain it. Oh dear, dear. What I give for even an ounce of their feral ignorance. A burden often accompanies self-awareness, sir. Dude, he's got a kick-ass Sherlock. <laughs> it's quite more than one can bear sometimes. No! The torment of it all! I understand. I'm just having fun watching this scene. A series designed to destroy a story. Dude, David Kay is so good. Is it... Oh, I thought you were going to say he is this guy, too. Oh, no. I, I, he might be. Oh, oh, really? We're making you buy coordinates to a new planet? What a jerk. I almost had enough for armor. I almost had enough for armor. It's a good thing we didn't buy those sentinels. Oh, it's Starla Gratch! Yeah! Oh, and this is my level. This, this is, is also your level. Oh, God. I'm... Just so you guys know... I'm dreading when we get to this level because I'm proud of this level. <laughs> and if I come and play this level and it is dog shit, like a lot of my stuff has been so far, I'm. Uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I might just start drinking at that point. <laughs> I'm really glad Darla Gratch was there. Though. She has Channel 64 news. Uh, wasn't she Channel 2 news? In... I think she was just Channel 4. Oh, okay. Maybe she was Channel 2. I don't remember. Wow. I'm sorry. You just lost 40,000 volts. I almost had armor. I almost had armor. You'll get it at the end of the next step. If I had done the, the race in the space combat, I could tell you about some armor. It's alright. You've been doing great. I've been doing pretty great. Is that it? No, we're not. That's uh, There's another segment. Um, over that way. Yeah, go down there. And that awesome fling pad that I stole and put in this level because I just needed something. Blame me for the camera, for, sh for sure. Uh, also, uh, uh, grind rail cameras, you can blame me for. I did a lot of those. Gotcha. 
and I was not into doing those. I, I think I phoned those in. Grind rail sections were really hard to set up. It was very finicky, grind rail stuff. Well, we've got a, a really long grind rail segment on the next one. Maybe we can talk about it then. And there's like, you just got ammo vendors all over the place. I guess the reason these ammo vendors are here is because the continue points are here and you can't go back to the ship. Yes, that's why. Uh, that was one of the rules of Ratchet Gameplay, is if you put a continue point, you have to put a, a vendor there. Or at least a teleporter to a vendor. This was this was a very weird level because both segments in this level were not connected to the start. So right. the start is not your starting point for either of the segments. Man, this level was so hard to get into frame. Uh, even though they have these really nice... Uh, uh, ah. Occluder balls right here, right? Um, the way the way that we had to construct it, because some of these open up and, and dudes pop out, some of these had to be constructed out of ties. So it made it, uh, and I think... I, I don't think ties, we discussed what ties were, but... Well, just, okay, I'll get into ties in just yeah. a sec. But to, uh, if I remember correctly, ties, if you set them up wrong, didn't do, didn't include. Uh, they don't include by default. You have to set them up specifically right. to, to include. So, uh, I... In, we already talked about Mobies uh, in the game. We had uh, in our game engine we had a number of different types of uh, objects that you could place. Right? There were Mobies, which was anything that had anything that had code attached to it. Right? Mm -hmm. uh, there were shrubs, which were little decorative pieces. I'll point one out if I find it. Um, that you know had certain level of detail qualities to them. And then there were ties, which were any sort of big non-moving, although we broke the crap out of that rule, <laughs> uh, big non-moving things. Like those trains out there are right. ties. Oh, really? Yeah. Those were some of the first moving ties we ever had. Um, we, we actually, I think, had moving ties because the... Uh, uh, remember when you were in the, uh, the moving train yeah. in the snow level? Those were ties. Okay. So, um, don't know why they were called ties. Uh, I don't know where the... No idea. The name it was... It predated me for sure, so I'm not sure. Uh, but I do know at various points the icon for them in the editor was. I'm sure Al. I'm sure Al had a great reason for it though, because Al's got a great reason for everything that he does. <laughs> we we haven't talked much about Al. You know what? It's it's hard to talk about Al because he's an enigma and a mystery <laughs> and a brilliant man. Oh man! Uh, so uh, for those of you who don't know much about uh, the way Insomniac set up, they have three owners. Yes. Brian, Ted, and Al. Uh, and Brian and Ted are the Hastings, or two of the Hastings brothers. Uh -huh. and, or, Brian, Brian and Al are the Hastings. Is... Hey, wait, let's do that over. Okay. Brian and Al are the two Hastings brothers, and uh, and Ted is the, 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 the third partner. The third Hastings brother is also Peter, who we've mentioned plenty of times, but he's not one of the owners. Right, right. And it's on that game. And so uh, Al and Brian are both programmers. Uh, Brian tended to do sort of gameplay type work, and Al was the engine guy. Uh -huh. And Al is a genius. Brilliant uh, man. Probably one of the top engine programmers in the industry uh, and uh, like he uh, also very quiet guy right? very uh, that which is why Tony was saying he was an enigma but the uh, uh, my favorite thing about Al was whenever I would have a, a problem that I would trace to the engine is that guy like, glowing he's got part of it oh it was the sheep and eight. that was a pretty cool go continue to talk about Al oh, okay well any, anyway uh, what I loved was anytime I had a, a, a bug that I could trace to the engine I would go talk to Al and I would very calmly and very quietly come over to my desk and then he would sit down and begin to work on the problem uh -huh. at my desk and then I would leave to go get a soda or something. I would be gone for two minutes tops and I would come back and there would be 15 files open on my computer. <laughs> All of them have been edited and checked in and I go to Al and I'm like, are you still working on that? And he's like, no, I finished it. Don't worry about it. It's, it was weird whenever, I, whenever you went to Al with the problem because he was a very quiet guy. Um, you would sort of explain the problem to him and he would then cease to really acknowledge you. He would just become lost in thought, as Al often did. And you would just be standing there like, do I leave now? Or is, <laughs> is that rude? Or do I stay until... But it was knew, very strange. But you knew he was solving your problem. Oh, yeah, for sure. But you, yeah. you, you also knew that he didn't need you at all. <laughs> like, your presence there was not going to solve any problem. But when you say it that way, though, it sounds like there was... Uh... It sounds like antagonistic, which was not. It was no, it was more not like, at all. Yeah, it was more just. No, he was thinking. Yeah, you were. You were. You know. And you're not about to think on his level. 
No, not not ever. Oh, I don't think you can ledge grab on that. That one, is so. kind of messed up. I think you need to get on it and then activate the dynamo. Can I do that? Just use it. I am using it. Oh, really? Spot line of sight. Can spot. you do it in first? Oh. Wow, that's horrible. I'm sorry. It's all right. So yeah, Al, Al was a. Al was always a, a pretty funny guy, but very quiet, very smart, brilliant. He did all the all the engine stuff that made Ratchet and Clank as awesome as on the PS2. Yeah, a lot of that was Al. And yeah. they got some brilliant engine programmers uh, as a result. Now, I mean, the whole engine team in Insomniac is yeah, is unbelievable. Been, yeah, has always been real. Oh, oh man. what am I? I guess I got a long jump into that, right? Yep. Yeah, and you know, like. Uh, the engine team, the tools team, like all a bunch of really great guys who know their stuff. Oh look, there's a nanotech. Don't go for it. End this level as quickly as possible. For the love of God. I wonder what made me think that that was acceptable. I don't know. Madness, probably. Madness. Only one person can answer that question, Mike. Uh, no, nobody can answer that question. All right, let's try this again. Boom! Oh! oh. oh. I should have just hit him with the wrench, but I don't want to hit anything with the wrench because that's that's our motto. That's what ple that's what peasants do. <laughs> you hit swarmers with the wrench. That's what they're there for. I wanted to use the sheepinator. How else am I going to get experience for the sheepinator but then by using it on swarmers? You're right. When you're right, you're right. But except I, I have to do this again now. Uh, I'm not going to make fun of you for this because, A, the fact that you're failing is my fault. <laughs> and, and B, I would be failing way worse than you were at this point. Um, so, having played as much of this as, as, as you have so far, uh -huh. would you agree with my estimation that this level is shitty? I don't agree, necessarily. Yeah? I think the problem is really that the level is a little bit sparse, and, uh, you know... There's a lot of dead time in the level, but if you removed some of that dead space, it would be a perfectly fine level. So if it wasn't shitty, the enemy it segments would be don't. Awesome. The enemy no, the enemy segments don't last long enough. You get to an enemy and then you blow them up super quickly, and then you have a lot of you know non-enemy things. And Ratchet's strength isn't ever. It's our our non-enemy segments have never been our strength in Ratchet and Clank. I think that's not a controversial thing to say. We do, to we, our puzzle segments are totally fine, but it's definitely not our best stuff in the game, our puzzles. This is kind of a cool little arena, mini yeah. arena. Uh, I'm pretty sure this section Lingish coded all of it. Because I, uh, that was way too complicated for my level at that point. Dude, your bouncer's halfway upgraded already. I know. D I'm getting mad experience here. I gotta say. Well, that's what you get for my style of, of playing, where I underpower it and then later on get all the you know all the points. Come on, sheep and air. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. How much experience does that give me? Not a lot. <laughs> that's gonna take a while. Well the 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 swarmers in the last level, I think. Oh yes, with all the protopads. Yeah. Oh fuck the protopads, yeah. I remember liking the protopets and swarmers. I thought they were good swarmers. They're good. They're all, they have a lot of personality, which is really all you really can hope for in a swarm. Oh, and you can't turn the camera towards where you're going because oh man, well, you need to hit another dynamo. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, there it that is. That Well, so that dynamo brings the crane down. Got it. Yeah. But you can't see it because this thing blocks the camera. Because uh, because this thing blocks the camera, which is just amazing. Well, it's also turned around from where the camera is going to be naturally facing when you jump on the platform. How did if I the, think that was if better? the dynamo was on the other side, you that would have would be seen better. It. Yeah, you're right. But then it would have clipped the platform. I was, I was just. Uh, oh God! Oh, this will be the first electrolyzer puzzle you've ever done. Oh. 